Hello, I'm Tanmay, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to show you how you can allow or block specific IP addresses on your Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance. Let's get started. There are two tools that you can use to control network access to an EC2 instance. A network ACL or a security group. A network ACL is a list of allowed or denied IP addresses and is applied to an entire subnet in a VPC, affecting all EC2 instances within it. On the other hand, a security group can be used to allow traffic to an individual EC2 instance level. First, let's take a look at how you can configure a security group on an existing EC2 instance. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the EC2 console. Then select instances. Here you can see a list of EC2 instances. Choose an instance to see more details. Choose security to see existing security groups associated with the EC2 instance as well as their rules. To change an existing security group, first choose the security group name. For this example, let's allow inbound HTTP traffic from anywhere. To do this, choose Edit Inbound Rules. Choose Add Rule. A new line is added to the list of inbound rules. Some well-known protocols as well as ports are listed under type. You can add custom ports or even configure a custom protocol. For this demonstration, let's select HTTP. Specify the traffic source. This could be anywhere, also known as Quad0 address, a range of IP addresses in CIDR notation, or a security group. By choosing security group, traffic from all EC2 instances associated with that security group is allowed. Let's select anywhere IPv4. Choose save rules to apply changes. This rule change takes effect immediately. As always, validate the changes. Now, let's take a look at how you can configure network ACL for a subnet. After logging in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the EC2 Console. Select Instances. Just as before, you can see a list of EC2 instances. Choose one to see more details. In this view, note the VPC ID and subnet ID. Choose the subnet ID. A new tab opens, taking you to the VPC console. Again, choose the subnet name to view more details. Scroll down. From the bottom menu, choose Network ACL. Here, you can see the current inbound and outbound network ACL rules. For this example, Let's add a rule to deny all inbound traffic from 17000/8. Choose the network ACL ID. Choose the network ACL ID again to see more details. Go to inbound rules and choose edit inbound rules. Choose add new rule. Network ACL rule evaluation is performed in ascending order starting from the smallest rule number. We want the network ACL to deny specific traffic first before allowing all traffic. For this demonstration, let's use rule 90. Similar to the settings of security groups, some well-known protocols as well as ports are listed under type. You can also add custom ports or even configure custom protocol. For the purpose of this demonstration, let's select all traffic. Unlike the settings for security group, source must be IP addresses entered in CIDR notation. Finally, select whether the traffic source will be allowed or denied. 
choose sort by rule number to reorder rule in ascending order choose save changes to apply the changes this change takes effect immediately keep in mind that network acls are stateless meaning that rules must explicitly allow return traffic the default network acl rules permit all traffic in both directions on the other hand security group rules automatically allow return traffic finally you can't explicitly deny traffic using a security group any inbound traffic not explicitly allowed by a security group is implicitly denied so now you know how to allow or block specific ip addresses on your ec2 instance thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at aws 